Now, osmosis is one of the physiological processes or is one of the processes by which uh, materials get in and out of the cell. Now, uh, when you talk of osmosis, in relation to diffusion, we can say that uh, osmosis is a special type of diffusion that involves water molecules. So basically we are saying that osmosis involves water molecules. Now, how do these water molecules move? Uh, these water molecules move from where there is high water concentration to where there is low water concentration across a semi-permeable membrane. So you can say that uh, this is the movement of water molecules specifically from a region of high water concentration to a region of low water concentration across a semi-permeable membrane. So in that uh, definition of osmosis, there are a few things that we need to capture. One, it involves the movement of water molecules. That's one. Then these water molecules move from a region of high water concentration to a region of low water concentration. And then this happens across a semi-permeable uh, membrane. Now, uh, to explain this further, uh, we can say that uh, a semi-permeable membrane is one that only allows small molecules, only allows small molecules to pass through, but not large molecules, but uh, not large molecules. So it is also called selectively or partially permeable. It's called uh, selectively or partially permeable. It means the same thing as semi-permeable membrane. Now, um, we're going to have a, an experiment to demonstrate osmosis. And uh, before we look at that experiment, it is important to understand what is a visking tubing. A visking tubing is a commercial is a commercial synthetic tube that plays the role of a semi-permeable membrane. Is a tube that works the same way as the cell membrane of the cell. So the visking tubing, just like the cell membrane of a cell, is semi-permeable. So you can say that uh, is a commercial, it's bought, synthetic uh, membrane. In fact, uh, it's transparent. That acts as a semi-permeable membrane during experiments. So that being the case, now we're going to have a, a setup So this is at the beginning 
So we have here uh, distilled water. Then inside the visking tubing, we have sugar solution. So this is the visking tubing. And of course, it is tied at both ends. So we have that. So that is water. That is distilled water. So on this, how you set up the experiment is that uh, uh, we get uh, a visking tubing. You tie at one end. Then you put some sugar solution up to a certain level. And then we tie the other end to make sure that the sugar solution does not spill out. Uh, then we take that visking tubing and immerse it into a beaker. This is a beaker that contains uh, distilled water. So we can hang it uh, using a string. We can hang the visking tubing inside the distilled water using a string. And then we leave it like that uh, for about uh, uh, 30 minutes. We leave the setup for about 30 minutes. And this is what we shall observe after 30 minutes. So you'll find that uh, the visking tubing swells or increases in volume. That is the same string we had used. We have uh, tilled water. The sugar solution is still inside. And of course, uh, uh, this is the visking tubing. Okay, we've labeled that. So this is the observation uh, that we make. Uh, that is after 30 minutes. So we are saying that uh, 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 the visking tubing swells, increases in volume. The distilled water is still outside, but the volume of the sugar solution increases. That's what is making the visking tubing to swell. Now, let's look at the explanation for that. Now, the explanation for that is that uh, in the beaker, that is inside the beaker, uh, there is a high concentration of water molecules. In fact, there is a higher concentration of water molecules than inside the visking tubing, than inside the visking uh, tubing. So, as a result of that, water molecules, water molecules move by osmosis from the beaker from the beaker to into the visking tubing into the visking tubing so we are saying that uh, water molecules move from the beaker into the visking tubing uh, by osmosis by osmosis so that tells you that uh, the water molecules have moved from where there is a high concentration of water to where there is a low concentration of water inside the visking tubing. So now, so that is an experiment that uh, we can carry out to demonstrate osmosis, showing that uh, water molecules move from where there is a high concentration of water molecules to where there is a low concentration of water molecules. The sugar solution has a low concentration of water molecules. So the molecules of water will move from the beaker into the visking tubing by osmosis. The visking tubing in this case is the semi-permeable membrane. So you can say here that the visking tubing is the semi permeable membrane 
and it represents the cell membrane. It represents the cell membrane of an organism. It represents the cell membrane of an organism. So basically, that's about uh, osmosis. Uh, we can also uh, define osmosis in a different way uh, using the same experiment. We can say that osmosis can also be defined as the movement of water molecules. It has to be water molecules from a dilute solution from a dilute solution to a concentrated solution uh, through a semi-permeable membrane. through a semi-permeable membrane. So basically, we have seen that uh, the water molecules moved from where? Uh, the water, the distilled water, this one is the dilute, to where the solution is concentrated. So that's another definition that we can use to define osmosis, but we have to always remember that it takes place through the semi-permeable membrane. <laughs>